Hey everybody, welcome to another unboxing. This one we're going to look at the Hobbit Unexpected Journey box. So here we are, this is the limited edition with the um, Ragolast uh, Special Edition Miniature. Otherwise it's exactly the same as the normal edition. So let's uh, see what's inside here. I'll switch over to my desk to do some close-ups once I open up the contents. Okay, so... Here we have all of our regular slot of bases. Looks like a whole lot for all the goblins and characters. Um, right off the bat, we have two sprues of goblins. Seems like the regular GW stuff. Now it's neat to note these are the smaller size sprues that fit into your regular um, boxes, not the usual large, large sprues that you see in something like Dark Vengeance or uh, Fantasy um, Island of Blood. And so they've done the Thorin's Company as one single sprue as well. And we'll look at that closer in a second. Um, here's the special Goblin King sprue with the special characters for the box only. And I presume these are exclusive to this set. Then we have, uh, there's our special edition mini, mini, which is the same size sprue as your blister pack, clam pack ones that are... Um, out there for fantasy and now 40k and this one's a press fit so there's all pegs and holes for everything that's nice dice um, our books here so we have a let's see let's open this right up so we have our hobby hobbit strat strategy battle game rule book and uh, from the reviews I've read online there's no points values in here it's just the basic rule book, kind of like what they do for 40k and fantasy. Nice color, some photos from the movies. Um, we have our play sheet that gives us some turn sequences and uh, tables. We have assembly instructions. There's for Ragged Ass the Brown. And then the rest of the Escape from Goblin Town book here. So all the dwarves, Goblin King. Um, here's the Journey Begins Here book. So that's probably all your scenarios for the uh, specific thing. Oh, and it shows you how to lay out your Goblin Town as well, which is nice because you don't really get a big set. And there's all your stats. It's great. And uh, Radagast the Brown and Wizards in the Dark. So they give you a scenario especially for that. And then we have our Goblin Town. So you have uh, two sprues that are identical. And so that seems like it's the same one. Well, it is the same one as you get in the Goblin Town set normally. And I'm not sure how many of these sprues you get in that set. If you get one or two. Actually, there's a, a second sprue that's different from this. If you go to the GW site, you can see the sprue picks. And there's two different sprues you get in that one. There's the Goblin King base and a nice ruler. Actually, that's a decent one. Looks like it fits together and can rotate. Might have to paint some lighter numbers in there. But it's better than the whippy sticks they usually give you. So there you have it. That's what's inside the box. And uh, we'll take a closer look at these sprues. Hang tight. Alright, so here's the Ragged Ass the Brown uh, limited edition sprue. So um, numbers on the things so you know where to assemble it. A nice scenic base here. And um, yeah, so you have your main body, your head arm, scenic base piece, looks like a cloak and other cloak. So single pose, nice miniature, um, kind of an odd pose when he's running over the, the, the uh, stump there, but uh, that's one that you get, nice plastic. Okay, next we have, let's look at the Goblin King. So, Goblin King, here we are. So you got some big arms there, shoulder piece, um, there's the scribe, I believe it is, or is the scribe the one? I don't know, there's a goblin champion of some sort. Let's look at this side here. So this is the throne for the king, and uh, so all those pieces are going to go together. I'm not sure exactly how that all look. And then you have the um, that little scribe guy that sits on this big long pole here. Nice detail, typical GW sprue. Um, yeah, so this one actually comes in half. 
So it could go with a box set. I don't know if you'll ever see that. Maybe if they discontinue this box, they'll release this as a single sprue. Okay, then looking at the company, the Dwarves and uh, Gandalf. So I don't know the names of all these guys yet, but uh, as you can see just uh, from looking here, there's uh, Bilbo, and he's much smaller than the Dwarves, so there's a nice scale difference there. Um, I never really liked how they did that in the movie. It always looked like they just kind of shrunk the guys. Anyways, I've seen some other uh, reviews where they show Gandalf against the other ones and his hat maybe a little smaller and some of the dwarves look more like humans. And some of them, like the, the details on these guys I find a bit to be too fine for what you would expect with a dwarf. A bit, a bit more stout looking. Um, but anyways, they're nice looking models. Uh, great amount of detail. Uh, with Bilbo you have the staff and sting options, make sure it's on there, and um, yeah the rest of them I believe are all single pose, no options, and your typical press fit with your holes and things. So you don't need glue but highly recommended. I like to use um, extra thin glue for this type of stuff, that's out of focus. Uh, the idea being that the press fit gets you really really close, the extra thin glue just flows in that crack there and you don't have any residue. So you have two sprues of the goblins and they're all single poses, single piece miniatures. Um, so you just have to cut them out, file off the mold lines and those guys are ready to go. So that's kind of nice and they'll uh, I'm sure they'll paint up pretty quick because there's only maybe three or four colors, three or four main colors and then there are lots of tints that you want to put on them. Some reds and purples just to make them look um, all bruised and beaten up. And then finally, our Goblin Town sprue. So we have two of these. And uh, so you get two of these giant pieces. And if I zoom out and refocus, excuse me for a second here. So that piece there is quite large if we look at it compared to a Terminator. Um, that's kind of the idea of scale you have there and then these uh, small little uh, pieces there and of course the posts to keep it all up. So I'm curious to see how interchangeable this is going to be um, in terms of uh, different modular type pieces and if you really need to buy that extra $70 kit, well $70 Canadian which is a ridiculous amount of money but I guess that's what they're trying to cash in on the Hobbit. There's a limited run for all this stuff so they need to get the return on investment fast. So that's it for the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing some more tutorials for painting. Uh, check my channel for other stuff for Warhammer 40k and fantasy. See you next time.